First of all, to express as R alpha, we have that 5 cos x minus 12 sin x must equal R cos x plus alpha. Now R cos x plus alpha can be written as R cos cos plus R sine sine. Pairing up, that cos x must match up with that cos x because the left hand side must equal the right hand side. So therefore R cos alpha must be 5. R cos alpha must be 5. Similarly, this sine x must match up with this sine x so the R sine alpha must be 12. R sine alpha must be 12. Therefore, R must equal 12 squared added to 5 squared square rooted which gives us an answer of 13 and tan alpha must equal sine or cos so 12 over 5 which means that alpha must equal the inverse cos sorry inverse tan of 12 over 5 which is 67.4 so therefore the R alpha is 13 cos x at 67.4 part b it asks you to state the minimum value of this well, once you've got it in one format the maximum value of cos is 1 the minimum value is minus 1 so the maximum value of all of this is 13 the minimum value is minus 13. So the minimum value of that is minus 13. In part C you have to solve the equation equal to 9 well I can replace that with the cos so 13 cos x plus 67.4 should equal 9 so cos x plus 67.4 must equal 9 over 13 therefore x plus 67.4 must equal the inverse cos of that which is 46.2 but also from cast diagram we have another one in the other quadrant which is 360 degrees minus that which gives us 313.8 and therefore x can equal two answers if I subtract from the 360 the first one there is not allowed, which means that I need to come up with another one. So we have, if I deal with this one first, take 67.4, 246.4. If I take 67.4 of this one, I get a negative answer, which is out of the range. So it means I am allowed to include the next one up, which would be 406.2, because when I subtract 67, from that, 406.2, take the 67.4, would come out with 338.8, which is still in the range. So there's my two answers, having written down the three.